Well, it's looking pretty decent for the Platinum Jubilee weekend, which has, of course, begun today. Thanks for clicking on to Bogan's European Outlook. It's Thursday, the 2nd of June, and uh, we have got a fairly decent weather prospect for the next several days. But a couple of flies in the ointment. We've got an area of low pressure that is nudging in off the Atlantic, bringing a, a little bit of a wetter day across parts of Western Northern Ireland. And eventually this will spread its way in to western portions of England and Wales. But all the while we're going to have high pressure starting to build over particularly Scotland. But as we play through the loop here of the GFS, you can see the showers breaking out through this afternoon. Um, we've got a little bit of cooler, fresher air at 850 millibars. That is going to uh, allow a little bit of upward motion as, of course, the daytime warming kicks in through late morning and indeed this afternoon, you get those showers and, and even a couple of isolated little thunderstorms developing with the instability of the afternoon period here. So that area of low pressure then it kind of drifts its way southeastwards over England and Wales. And as I say, high pressure actually becoming the more dominant player over the northern half of the British Isles. Uh, while we've got, of course, weaker heights, a little bit more across southern portions of the British Isles, and with low pressure near France, that is going to attract uh, some disturbed weather coming northwards in the southern portions of England and Wales uh, through the upcoming weekend. So all the while, uh, very, very good uh, clear skies across northern portions of England, Wales, and particularly Scotland and Northern Ireland as well. Temperatures are going to respond very nicely indeed here. And uh, temperatures, albeit uh, uh, close to average across the bulk of England and Wales, we're going to have that um, increased threat of showers and thunderstorms uh, through the course of Saturday night and into Sunday. Notice here high pressure still dominating uh, the northern half of British Isles. So the, all that kind of shower activity really confined from about the Midlands southwards, it looks like, uh, through the course of the weekend here, uh, as you can see. And then that kind of uh, pattern continues uh, into the early portion of next week. High pressure still uh, holding on. And according to the GFS, at least, we've got high pressure uh, re-establishing over uh, the more unsettled parts of southern England and Wales. Uh, through the course of the weekend, we're going to see improving conditions into the early portion of the week. And then as we push through next week, we've got a threat of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic here. And this, of course, all combines with the forecast that I've got out uh, of my, both the June outlook as well as the summer forecast that there's going to always be this threat off the Atlantic with warm to hot air uh, pushing northwards here. Exactly where that goes, it depends on the timing of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic versus the surge of warmth coming off Africa through the Mediterranean and up into Europe. We're going to have that constant push of warm to hot air uh, northwards but uh, if we get low pressure hanging back further west, we're going to see that uh, warm surge lifting all the way up into the British Isles. But of course, uh, with low pressure perhaps um, coming in just a wee bit too quickly, we then see that uh, plume of warm air get deflected eastwards uh, and northwards uh, through the, the course of the, the period here. So it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, it's going to be a back and forth pattern, I think. Uh, as we go forward here um, looking at the uh, two meter temperature anomalies here off the model here this is again off the GFS and you can see here plenty of warm sunshine temperatures into the high teens the low 20s really across the board cool by night by the way clear skies light winds will allow the temperature in rural areas to drop off quite a wee bit but then of course as the sun gets going during the day we'll see the temperatures respond even across Scotland we're going to be talking about temperatures into the, the low 20s, I think, um, especially uh, through the, the course of the weekend in particular and in the early next week, uh, temperatures, uh, could, some of the warmest temperatures of the whole UK actually could be over the West Highlands, for example, uh, 22, 24 Celsius, quite possible. Uh, but the southeast of England, of course, uh, with the sunshine, we'll see temperatures going into the, the upper 20s, or should I say the low, low 20s, should I say, <laughs> upper 20s, I'm getting carried away. Uh, but you can see here, this is even uh, during the course of Saturday, uh, there's a 20 just south of Inverness. And, uh, you know, again, nights cool under clear skies and light winds. And, uh, you know, we could actually see some, uh, 
kind of relatively unusual frosty conditions in some places with this type of setup. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. But certainly a, a fairly decent outlook. Uh, some showers, some thunderstorms in the forecast through the weekend, particularly across southern portions of the British Isles, high and dry across more northern parts. Um, my good friend and um, colleague, Lewis, he is enjoying a holiday in Switzerland at this moment in time. He's based in Interlaken, and then he'll be moving on uh, to uh, Grindelwald, I believe that is how you pronounce it. Um, but he visited um, the Schilthorn Mountain, uh, which is actually famous for, uh, in the, the, the 007 uh, James Bond film back in 1963. And he recorded this uh, amazing view uh, from the top um, over a few days ago. Uh, and he did say that it was quite rainy down in the valley there, um, but uh, up in the high elevations, this is about, what, um, 9,744 feet above sea level. Uh, the air temperature was about 4 Celsius. Uh, a bit of a breeze, so probably below freezing wind chill. But even away up um, at uh, nearly 3,000 metres above sea level, temperatures above freezing, interestingly enough, in the Swiss Alps. But uh, certainly looks as if he's having a great time. Stunning scenery, stunning part of the world, of course. And, uh, you know, if we look at the current temperatures across Switzerland, you can see here that we've got uh, temperatures of 18 Celsius at Interlaken. And we've got some... Uh, generally high teens and low 20s across much of uh, Switzerland at the moment. So um, plenty of shower activity actually across parts of Switzerland at the moment, and I'd say thanks to uh, an area of uh, disturbed weather. Now, of course, in this region of the world anyway, we do get the blow-up of showers and thunderstorms, especially within the mountains. Uh, and you can see here as I play through the loop that we've got uh, some kind of low pressure actually pretty close by. We've not got any particularly strong, uh, you know, high pressure at the moment to kind of cap the atmosphere. We're not getting that. So we're going to see the continuation of uh, showers and thunderstorms developing, I think, uh, day by day, near enough in the Alps. So um, interesting stuff. And I think I've spoken long enough. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will try and have a video again tomorrow, but um, we'll wait and see what happens. So enjoy the rest of your day and I'm back again in the next day or so. Uh, please like, of course, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again the next time. Bye for now.